all right so welcome back thanks for tuning in to another video so today's video we're going to talk about how to protect your yard from insects and funguses so it's a few couple items that i got from the big box store that i want to show you guys it's going to be very very simple how to protect your yard so stay tuned all right so as you can see here i'm gonna give you guys a nice little view of the yard how everything is turning out and as you can see everything is green it's nice i had just cut the yard yesterday and i figured let me it's time for me to go ahead and protect the yard and get the yard ready you know we're in mid-may so a lot of people around this time should be protecting their yard from funguses and insects and stuff of that nature um a lot of people like to have gatherings around the end of may for memorial day so these are a few items that you're going to want to use to get your yard into tip-top shape for those gatherings and family outings or whatever you do however you celebrate so you know you want to go ahead and start to get the yard under control now so when that time comes you all you have to do is the bare minimum to get your yard in shape so but as you can see i still got a few um the spots here that are taking a sweet time to grow in but we do have growth so i'm not worried about that and with the warmer temperatures things are really 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 popping real nice soon so you know it's just grass seeds you know how they do grass seeds are going to take a sweet sweet time so but for the most part the yard is doing well i still got some weeds tangled in with the grass itself um i'm still waiting to actually get a um a spray down with some weed killer but i'm not going to worry about that right now but as you can see for the most part the yard is doing well it's thickened up really nice it's even it's nice and green and i haven't even put any real fertilizer down yet so but let's go take a walk over here i got a few items that i want to show you guys that you could pick up from your local big box stores that's going to help you get your yard under control for a reasonable price so these are a few items that i always use year to year and i have great success with them so if it's not broke i'm not going to fix it so let's go over here and take a look at these items and i'll tell and i further explain to you how to use these items and when to use these items so stay tuned all right so here we go so these are four items that i actually purchased at home depot that i've used in the past with great results so i thought i'll show you guys what products that I'm using this year again um, like I said if it's not broke I'm not gonna fix it only product I haven't used on this actual lawn is the granulated fungus control by bio advance I've used the liquid every year and so far the liquid is done phenomenal for me um, if you need quick results then I would recommend using the liquid right away like if you have a fungus already brewing up in your lawn or uh, if you see like say because um, around this time of the year as it starts to warm up and humidity starts to hit a fungus can happen overnight so if you need something that's going to actually fight off a fungus right away I'm going to go and recommend the liquid um, the liquid is a little more stronger than the actual granules so I've used the liquid every year by BioAdvance and then for granule um from granule fungus control I've always used Scott so I would use bio advance and then I would use the Scots but this year I'm gonna go with the the fungus control granulated formula this year just to see how it works because I've trusted the liquid so much so and I actually use this is an empty container that I used on the front lawn actually um, just a couple days ago but like I said the, the liquid is actually a stronger product than a granulated formula the liquid is 2.42 percent propocanazole compared to the granulated formula that has 0.50 propocanazole uh, ingredient. So, if you're going to need stronger and faster results, I would recommend using the liquid. But I don't have a fungus brewing up right now, so I can go ahead. And use the granulated formula it's going to take it at least a week to get down into the soil when you use this product the granulated formula you're going to go ahead spread it down and then you're going to water it in and then from there on you're good to go but it's going to take a little longer for the granulated formula to process so if you're fine with that then you know you can use the granulated formula if you need something now you want quick protection always go with the liquids all right 
So that's far as the fungus control. Now, as far as my insect control, I'm gonna use the 24 hour grub killer plus. This is gonna kill grubs and within 24 hours. So if you already have grubs in your yard and you know for a fact that you have grubs, this is a product that you wanna use because it's gonna kill the grubs right away. It's not gonna wait. It's a fast acting formula. You put it, you spread down the granules, you water it in, and you should start seeing results within 24 hours. So I'm gonna use the liquid insect, long insect and fire ant killer plus the grub killer plus all today. So I need I need insect control immediately because right now a lot of the insects as it warms up and I got trees and all of this stuff, the insects are kind of getting out of control, the flies, the ants, the mosquitoes. So I'm gonna double down. I'm gonna use the granulated formula first and then I'm gonna spray my liquid. And so when you're using um, the liquid, you wanna make sure you spray everything. You're trying to create a barrier. So you're gonna spray your fence, you're gonna spray it like if you got a shed, you spray the fence down the shed. If you have a deck, spray your deck down. Just make sure you have no pets or anyone is gonna walk on these items like the, um, the deck and stuff like that for at least four hours or, or to, until it dries. Me, I like to keep people off the deck for at least or, or the grass for at least 24 hours. So just so I can give it a chance to work, set in, dry up so no, nobody gets sick or any of that thing nature because these are very very strong products these are not green products so i don't recommend you letting anybody back on your surfaces for at least 24 hours so let's go ahead let's get these products spread down and then we'll go over it again All right, so I finished spreading down my granular formulas, my fungus control, and my grub killer plus. Now I'm gonna use the lawn insect and fire ant killer to basically spray the rest of all the, the fence, the shed, the deck, even your mulch beds. You wanna use this product last after you use your granular formulas because it's like almost like watering it in, but you still wanna make sure you water it in properly with like a watering device or if you're gonna get rain or something. So you wanna make sure you do this properly. You wanna make sure you shake your product up and make sure you got the seal inside because you don't want it to backsplash and backspray you. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect everything. All right, so there you have it. So you're gonna start at the far side and work your way back onto the platform, all right? Thank you. 
As you can see, that's pretty much it. Only thing you gotta be cautious of is these Bio Advanced bottles drain very quickly. So just be careful. For some reason, they, they drain at a faster pace than any other spray bottle I've used. So I don't know if it's maybe a problem with Bio Advanced, but I've noticed that it's always drained very, very quickly. This bottle almost used about three quarters of the bottle that fast so you just got to be careful but i'm going to go ahead finish up this yard finish up my mulch beds and my deck but you get the picture i'm going to show you the finished product and i hope you guys enjoyed the video if this video helped you hit me with a like button subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more content take care